Welcome to Fine Living, presented by Jim Reef Builders on 1240 Radio WOMT. And a good morning, Lakeshore, and welcome back to Fine Living here on 1240 Radio WMT every week with Jim Reef from Jim Reef Builders. Jim, you uh, you gave me props. I gave you props. Today, I Jerry. love to look at photos. I love to look at this stuff. Uh, as you know, today we're talking about lower levels and uh, a basement build out. Um, so far, I love what I see. Well, thanks, Terry. Well, we prefer to call it lower levels, not basements, but some people may not understand. So okay. I still put the basement terminology in there which is a very popular yet. I mean, for years, people have been doing up their basements and lower levels, and we and we continue to do those, add extra space and stuff. So it's still very popular, but some neat new twists. Okay. And, uh, you know, a couple of things that are somewhat popular is that um, a lot of times we're putting a little kitchenette in for folks. Yes. You know, a little kitchenette. You can have some counter surface, maybe a microwave, pizza oven, mm-hmm. small fridge or big mm-hmm. fridge, little mm-hmm. sink, you know, rinse out, get some water handy, neat things there. Exercise rooms are become, are very, very popular. People being very health conscious. Absolutely. Building a neat space in their lower level for exercise rooms. A lot of times we can put rubber flooring in there. And you ask, why is that? Well, several reasons. First of all, it cushions things. So whether you're, you're, you're jogging okay. in place, jumping rope, something like that. Uh, if you drop a barbell, it's done, you know, ah. it's it's that way. It's also easier to clean up as you perspire. You may have a few drops on the floor. Sure, sure. You wipe that up real easily. Um, then you have your, your kind of your great room area. But but those are really neat, really neat spaces. Uh, wall hung the TV uh, well, in a lot of cases. One of the things that I've noticed uh, looking at some of these photos is just the ceiling looks beautiful. Uh, and some, with some of this recessed lighting, um, and some of the trim work, I mean, um, it looks like, it, you know, it could be your main floor. It is. And, and one of the things that I want to emphasize is that we're doing in a lot of cases, we're actually, you know, plastering, drywalling the ceilings in those rooms instead of putting suspended ceiling in. It's just a, a really neat, clean appearance. Uh, people ask, well, what do we do about like a water shutoff or how do we access a pipe? Well, mm-hmm. I always tell folks, think of it as a, your, if you have a two-story home, you have plumbing between the floors too. And that's, you know, drywalled over. Okay. So, you know, we can we can definitely adapt to those, move valves if we have to. So question for you, Jim, looking at one of these photos, uh, it's a bedroom. Mm-hmm. Um, what are some of the, the rules or the codes? Can you have a bedroom? Can you call it a bedroom? How does things like that work in, in, in the lower level? You can have a, a bedroom in the lower level, but you need to have an egress window. That means it has to be within a certain distance off the floor and a certain size window to allow you to escape to the exterior. So if there would be a fire and the main stairs going up would be cut off because of the fire, you could crawl out uh, as a means to escape the building through that window. Okay. So we do a lot of neat things with those. The egress windows are very popular. We highly encourage those. You know, one of the things I'm looking at here, I mean, is we kind of touch base on back to the kitchenettes or, or wet bar areas. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm seeing all this kind of stuff, and this stuff looks beautiful and amazing. Can you, let's say there's an unfinished basement. I guess it's kind of hard to visualize that basement or, or, or lower level looking like something like this. Mm-hmm. Well, again, with our CAD system, we do a floor plan layout for you. We can show you different pictures like I'm showing you, today, Terry. And we can also do some 3D in some cases to help you assist with that. Okay. So just some neat things. You know, you touched on the, the wet bar yeah. the concept. So you, you have your traditional bar that people used to build where yes. it had like the bartender person. Yes, yes. And then you had, you know, four or five, six people Is sitting in the side. Is anymore? Uh, a little bit, but not a lot. Traditionally, we see people conversating either around a table or sitting on some relaxed, comfortable furniture and having just a little wet bar mounted against the wall with maybe a sink, some cabinetry in for glasses, maybe a little uh, fridge or wine chiller or something like that so that people can, you know, enjoy their company in a comfortable setting, not sitting on a bar stool. Right, right. You know, and so that's some of the things that have changed. And those are some of the new twists. We've even opening up some staircases. And I got to tell you, we're, we're hoping to work with it. We've been working with this client. We're hoping to get this project. We're, we're doing a trophy room for somebody. Uh-huh. And he wondered what that, what's trophy room? The gentleman's into hunting and he has a lot of mounts. Huh. So he, he <laughs> we're working to help him, you know, design and display his mounts yeah. in, in his lower level. Yeah. And it's going to be really neat. Jim, a lot of great stuff. Uh, before we go, though, we want to remind people, get this on the date now on your calendar. The Mantua County Home Builder Association's 
2016 Parade of Homes. Right, September 15th through the 17th. Great time, great great projects to see. And I know uh, Jimmy Fielders has two homes this yes, year. Yes, we do. So, Very privileged. Uh, to have congratulations that. on that. In the meantime, people want to get a hold of Jimmy Fielders, talk about uh, remodeling, talk about a new construction, uh, lower levels ideas. Well, with the lower levels, Terry, they can go right to our website. We got a we got a tab in our gallery just for lower levels. People can look at that. You go to another tab, you can contact us right through there. J- drop us an email, call us. You can call us at 684-6899 and check out our Facebook page. It's great. Jim, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Fine Living, presented by Jim Reef Builders, the leader in new construction and remodeling here on the Lakeshore. Let their vision enrich your lifestyle. Tune in again next week for another episode of Fine Living on 1240 Radio, WOMT. To learn more, visit jimreefbuilders.com.